Hi everyone. So my name is Gladys Warden and I can't really say welcome to my YouTube channel because I don't really have one. This will kind of be my first video. I did a Bell's Palsy kind of update video. Hold on Mila. Uh, like when I had it for like four, five weeks I guess. I've now had it for almost two years. Hi. So as you can see it's gotten a little bit better but kind of gotten used to the idea that I'm just gonna look like this for probably ever but um anyway Mila's in here as well so she'll be joining us in this video she's making some coffee hey will you go make mama some coffee over there okay we're gonna show everybody your clothes okay okay Okay, sorry about that. It's probably going to be a lot of stopping and starting because I'm not really used to this. But anyway, I did a little poll on my Instagram kind of about what people wanted, asking people what they wanted to see more of in terms of just like content. And a lot of people said more like toddler clothing hauls and that sort of thing. And Mila's been doing a lot more shopping than I have for the fall. So I thought I would start off trying a little YouTube video that I couldn't decide between like IGTV or this so we're gonna try this and kind of see how it goes so to begin with I guess I'll start off with like the bottoms that I got her if you follow me on Instagram you saw these little snake pants these are from I don't know how to say this I don't know if it's she in or shine I don't know we'll say she in but I didn't know they had a kids section which is really really cute um so yeah, I got these in the smallest size. My mom did have to like hem them because they still were a little bit big on Mila, but yeah, they were super cute and they matched mine. They have a lot of cute um, like leopard and snake print kind of things on that website. Okay, and then these I got from Style Me Mama, little Instagram boutique. It's so cute, little high-waisted pants she can wear with sweaters and I really wish I had those if you followed me from when she was a baby she had these little tiny like Gucci look inspired loafers and they were so cute and those would be perfect with this but I need to find her some that fit her now and then these are pretty similar like those just in a lighter color and then they're kind of a little bit more like wide legged I guess but these are from Zara and these were $22.90 and they have a little belt with like a wooden detail which was really cute so I know she'll be wearing these a lot also um these were only like $10 I forgot to mention and then I want to say I'm terrible at like remembering all of this but I want to say these were 15 so super affordable and then uh, I just picked her up some more little jeans from Zara last time we were there uh, I feel like they outgrow jeans really quickly I didn't she really didn't get to wear a whole lot of hers from last year and it's kind of when they're like really baby it's kind they're kind of uncomfortable in jeans but now she's kind of at the age where she'll be able to wear them a lot more this fall and so these are from Zara. These are $20. And I love jeans from Zara. Um, they're pretty true to size. Sometimes they run a little bit bigger. So these are the two to three years. She's six and a V2. And I just wanted them to last her a little bit longer. And I figured if they were a little long, I could still just fold them up at the bottom. And then this little skirt. So cute it's from Amore and Little Girls if y'all haven't checked it out please do it's on Instagram so Style Me Mama and Amore and Little Girls are like my favorite shops that I found on Instagram they have the cutest little clothes and they're super affordable so she has this and she'll be able to pair it with sweaters and little graphic tees or whatever and I want to say this was around 20 if not less than that and then these are just gonna be some little skirts that are part of her little fall wardrobe she's had these since uh, 
like last year, but they just didn't get to, they didn't fit her real well last year. They were kind of a little too long. So I think this year they'll be perfect length for her to wear with sweaters and boots and that sort of thing. Okay, moving on to tops. I got this little denim jacket from H&M and I actually got it for, uh, for her to put these little letters on the back it says Lobos which is our high school football team my little brother plays and so we go to a lot of their sporting events and that sort of thing and so I like to for her to have just different things she obviously has like the little cheer outfits and um, I always get her little t-shirts from one of my friends shop here in town but I saw this idea on an older girl for like um, Dodgers baseball and so it was super cute and I got this at H&M for $17 and the little patches if you want to do this idea for like five six dollars on Amazon and they're iron on but they'll peel right off so like after the season's over if I just want to keep wear or have her just wear this jacket for the rest of the season because it won't fit her next season probably I'll just peel them off and then it'll just be like a regular little denim jacket and they have this in three different washes so they have like a darker and a lighter I kind of want to get her the lighter too and I, this is a little sweater from Zara. I love their knitwear. When Mila was a tiny little baby, she had a ton of like their little knit sets, like the little cardigan with the pants or the sweater and the pants, and they're so cute and so soft. You can see the texture. Really good right there. And this one was 20. I do like to... Sometimes I'll size up on some sweaters because I want like an oversized fit or just to last a little longer. This one's kind of a little bit longer where she can almost wear it with like tall boots as like a dress or she can like tuck it into one of the those little pants that I showed y'all all ago. So yeah, we really like this one. This one comes in like two or three other colors. I think it's like a blush and maybe a black. I really want a black little sweater. So yeah, this one's $20. And let me see what else. I did get her a denim shirt from Zara too in my last order. If you follow me on Instagram, it's the one she wore um, just a few days ago. She paired it with like little shorts. She, I paired it. Um, but yeah, I loved that denim shirt. It's really good quality. And I think that one was 20 or 25 and it was from Zara as well. But I think she left it at my mom's house cause she was, she went straight over there that day. And I also, another favorite of mine from Zara are the leggings. You can kind of see they're like the ribbed leggings. Their material is so good and they last forever. And they're usually only like $10. So I love getting these in all different kinds of patterns and shape and colors. Right, Mila? She just came in the room. Can you say hi? Say hi, everyone. Say hello. What are you doing? This little t-shirt too, I don't know, look Mila, show them your shirt. There's my dog too. This little t-shirt is another thing I picked up from <laughs> Cotton On Kids. Yeah. So cute. Um, okay, sorry. Her and our dog came in and got a little crazy. Okay, and I forgot these and I was talking about bottoms. They're little high-waisted shorts and these are from Amore and Little Girl. I would probably size down on these because they did fit Mila a little long to where like they're just past her knees so she'll probably have to wait a little bit to wear these or I don't know I'll have to roll them up or something um, or just wear them like super high waisted but they are really cute and they look like little adult high waisted shorts. Um, okay, I also got this little top from Amore and Little Girls. That was kind of the outfit. It was uh, this with the little high-waisted shorts. So I can't wait for those to actually fit her, but this little button-up is really cute. She got a lot of compliments when she wore it. Uh, again, that little boutique is very affordable and just super cute little items. And then, um, I guess while we're on that shop, I got this little tank crop top as well. I thought 
I could pair this with like her biker shorts and a denim jacket or this with that little polka dot skirt. I don't know, it could just go with a lot or like with the snake skin pants, just so things that are high waisted, the little crop can go good with that. And that's another one from a more little girl. I think this was like ten dollars and it comes in multiple colors. And then another store. I don't know if I was living under a rock or maybe I don't know. Y'all probably know about this store. I didn't. I'd heard of Cotton On, but I didn't know about Cotton On Kids. And the other weekend we were in San Antonio and um, always when we get there, I go straight to Zara because it's my favorite store for me and for Mila. Well, as I was walking there, I saw this little store called Cotton On Kids. And so I had to go in there and they are the cutest thing. So Zara is like my absolute favorite and I think Cotton On Kids is my second favorite. They had so many cute things and um, especially the graphic tees. I love little baby graphic tees and they had so many there but the only reason I didn't buy more was they didn't have a lot her size and even that one that she was just wearing, that Ramones one, was I had to size up which is fine. It fits her a little bit longer. She was wearing it with biker shorts so it looks really cute but online they have a ton of really cute things so be sure to check that out. and. This was another one of the graphic tees that I got from there. This one was only $5. I, they had like a really good little sale section. And I sized up in this one too. And their sizing is basically like like the one like 2T, 3T, but without the T. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4. She would wear a 2, but they didn't have a 2 in this one. It was $5. So I just got it to wear a little oversized. And then this. Um, I have a little a little overall thing that I ordered from Amazon a few months ago and so when I saw this she had to have it so we could match so it's just a little overall dress super cute um, if you follow us on Instagram you saw me post that last week I think it was and then this little dress I won't show you all up close but just because I don't want y'all to see all the stains from her macaroni and cheese the other day but it's this little dress um this one's from style me mama it's like a t-shirt dress i'll show you all the back it's super cute and um she's already worn it twice and it did shrink though i washed it and dried it i forgot to take it out of the dryer and just let it air dry so it did shrink a little bit but it's fine um it kind of fits her better now it was a little bit longer at first and now it kind of fits where it should but super cute and even you can wear it or they can wear it like tucked in as an oversized tee. I really I loved that color and that was from Style Me Mama. I think that one was 15. And then this is a little blazer that we got last year or like earlier in the spring. But she just didn't really get to wear it because she was still a little bit younger. So I'm excited for her to wear this this fall with little biker shorts or whatever it may be um so yeah there's that has little gold buttons you can see that shop i'm not sure if they are active again because i know she was gonna have a baby so she was gonna take a little while uh, to come back or like get her shop active again so i'll check that but i'll put the link below for all of these things in the description box and then in the shoe department we're really lacking because we haven't bought like any shoes for the fall the only things that we've got in our little Reebok shoes just because she needed something to go with her cheer outfit and for um just little things like that with everyday little sweaters and dresses and she outgrows like a de all the like tennis shoes she outgrows them so quickly so I feel like that's what we're always buying but yeah, I need to get with it on like booties and more fall type of shoes and accessories. Okay, y'all. So we had a little bit of a malfunction because my camera just died. YouTube newbie, obviously, because the camera wasn't charged. So I had to charge it a little bit. Um, anyway, what I was saying was I also, um, besides all like the little fashionable stuff, um, I always like to get little play clothes, uh, comfortable clothes. Um, I do want to point out, like, I know I always dress Mila and put her, like, you know, in cute little outfits that match me or 
whatever little stylish outfits her pictures she's not always in that and that's like I don't want to ever come off that that's you know that like I only dress her in like little stylish things or that you know she's never comfortable because probably 75% of the time she's in like comfortable little kid play clothes which I love them in that they always look so cute in their little t-shirts and just comfy clothes so anyway I just wanted to throw that out there I don't want to come off as if like I'm not letting her be a kid because I'm definitely gonna let her be little so anyway um so these are just little comfies that um I don't know where the black little yoga pants were or little leggings but TJ Maxx Marshalls they always have great little play clothes it's like quality clothing I always love to get like her Nike and like Under Armour little sets from there and they're always so cheap like this was eight bucks the shirt was like five dollars and these are great for um hey Mila come here these are great for like when we go to my brother's games and those sorts of things especially when it'll get cooler <laughs> they're kind of black and white can match do you have your own camera <gasps> look say hey everybody cheese you're taking pictures too okay say so, well that's the end of the video um I still need to shop a little bit more for some fall things, definitely in the shoes. I'm also lacking in accessories like belts and hats and bows, that sorts of thing. Um, her hair is like in a little awkward stage right now where like she can't really wear it down because it's not thick or long enough. But then, I don't know, she's like, I usually just put it in a little bun or ponytail and she's starting to rip off her bows. So. Show. Anyway, y'all, thank you for watching if you watched long enough, and I hope to make more of these sorts of videos. Uh, I really enjoy watching them, so I wanted to try and make one myself, maybe more like day in the life, or like decorate with me, or those sorts of things, clean or organize, more toddler geared things. Um, I don't know, you tell me in the comments below, or on my Instagram, or wherever you keep up with us, and thank you so much for following along. And also, if you are new and you've never watched me before, I do have Bell's Palsy, and I've had it now since November of 2017, so just in case you're wondering why this side of my face doesn't really move, or like, I can't smile all the way, that's why. Um, I will probably do like an update video on that, on kind of what's going on with that soon. So anyway, bye everyone.